Hey guys, welcome to the final episode on making a MOBA character. I will expand upon the character abilities in a separate series where I will be recreating League of Legends characters in Unity. But in this video, I will show you the leveling system I had implemented. Having our character gain experience after killing an enemy and then leveling up once he's gained enough XP. The first thing we are going to do is add a field image to our project. This is pretty much a white rectangle that we will use to be our XP bar. We will then go to the 2D canvas game object and add a new image, anchoring it to the bottom and dragging the rectangle image to the source image slot, as well as setting the image type to field, fill method to horizontal, fill origin left, and the fill amount to zero. After, we'll add a text. This will tell us our level and it will increment every time you level up. Now that everything is pretty much set up, go to the player and add a new script called Level Up Stats. When in Visual Studio, at the top, add using UnityEngine.ui, and the variables we'll need are public int called level, which is set to one. Public float experience will also be property of get and private set, a public text named level text, and public image which is the XP bar image. We won't need the start and update method, so you can get rid of them. Instead, we'll do a public static int called XP need to level up and store an int called current level. We'll then write an if statement where if the current level is equal to zero, it will return zero. It will also return the current level times the current level plus the current level. That may sound confusing right now but it will make sense later. After that confusing line of code, we're going to want to times that by 5. That's all that's needed for the static int. We will then create a void called set experience, sorting a float called xp, and have the experience variable earlier equal to the xp. Create two more floats, xp needed which is equal to xp need to level up, level, and float previous experience which is equal to xp need to level up, level minus 1. To level up by using the xp stored, Write if statement where if experience is greater than or equal to xp needed, a separate method will be called, which can be named level up. Create a public void level up and we'll come back to this later. Going back to the set experience method, have xp needed equal to xp needed to level up, level, and previous experience equal to xp need to level up, level, minus 1, similar to what we wrote at the top. Now that we're getting the xp, we want to display it through the image game object we created earlier. This can be done by doing xp bar image dot fill amount equal to the experience minus previous experience divided by the xp needed minus previous experience. To reset the bar back to zero is pretty easy. Have if the fill amount of the image is one, simply just set it back to zero for it to reset the experience gaining process. Going down to the level up method, you can honestly add whatever you want to it, whether it be increasing the player's health, attack damage, attack speed, etc. But for now, I'm just going to have the level go up by doing a level plus plus and having it shown in the text just so we know it's working. Heading back into Unity, drag the level text and XP bar image from the 2D canvas to our player script in the inspector. Once you're done with that, we'll quickly update the stats method. At the top, add the variables private game object player and public float XP value. And in the start method, have player equal to game object.find game object with tag player. Moving down to the update method, since this script is going to be in the enemy game object as well, We'll add the XP gain once the health is less than or equal to zero. Do player.getComponent level stats dot set experience and store the XP value. That's pretty much it for the script. All you need to do now is go to the stats script on the enemy and change the XP value. This part is totally up to you. You can have the XP value set to 5, 10, 3, or 1. You can honestly play around with it to whatever suits your game. I usually go with 4 XP value. Once I press play, I'll duplicate the enemy so it'll be easier to see the XP bar go up as well as seeing the level increment. The line of code that I had earlier that was very confusing was so that it'll be harder for the player to level up each level, meaning you would need more XP and kills every time. That's pretty much all for this video and series. I will continue the abilities part in a different series where I'll be remaking League of Legends characters and maybe even create my own character with the help of the community. If you haven't voted in the poll, please do as it will help me know what content to give you guys. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all in the future tutorial series. Peace.